when Fnatic was playing against Sentinels on Haven, they had a very big bleep on their economy and their bank accounts were really weird in one round. I would like to solve this mystery with this video. Welcome everyone, this is the second round of Fnatic vs Sentinels on Haven. And as you can see, Fnatic has full weaponry on all of the five players. Two Stingers, one Marshal, one Vandal, and one Bulldog. What is even more important is that they have um, uh, uh, they have almost Durka's ultimate up in this moment. So when we play this round, you're gonna see that they actually have not only save all the guns in this, uh, in this round, but also Durka gets his ultimate. And they literally don't lose a singular player in this round. Right, so they save all the guns. The two Stingers, the Marshal, the Bulldog, and the Vandal. But what happens after this round, when we go into the next one, because it's a 2-0, right? And Sentinels didn't force in second round. You can literally see right here on the replay. Pay attention. Look what Alpha does. He literally throws away the Stinger. And the same happens to the Marshal, and the same happens to the other Stinger. So Fnatic decides to throw away three guns. On the round three after a flawless round right so it's a I, I feel like this is gonna be an exercise that everyone can take part in and you have if you have a solution to it please write in, in, in a comment because it's very interesting choice because right now they could build up the economy right they're able to build up the economy in this round because they literally didn't lose a single player yet zero deaths on every single player and they start the first full by round against sentinels look at the bank right now leo has zero in the, in the bank alpha has zero in the bank and bosa has almost like nothing in the bank because all of them bought rifles and so it happens that essentially if they lose this round and they did by the way they're gonna go into an eco because of that that they didn't like save those guns that they had in round two and instead they opted off for another rifles so one could argue i was thinking like why on earth would they do that right and they also had Durka's ultimate so there's like another aspect of it so let's let, let's break it down the thing is that now that they have those rifles down even chances to win this round against the full buy from sentinels but the thing is they already had a bulldog and a vandal on the previous um, buy with two stingers and a marshal and the thing is Derke could have even popped his ult and dropped the vandal to boaster or to leo whatever or to alpha to essentially place two stingers two vand uh, one vandal one bulldog and one ultimate from Derke and save the cash to essentially make a bigger bank account for the next round even if they would lose this one they essentially would have a full buy for round four, while Fna uh, Sentinels most likely would have a weird buy because if they would lose like three players, for example, then they have to rebuy on three players that don't have the cash, right? So right now, there's like it, it, it's such a weird decision making because even casters were surprised that after Fnatic loses this round, they they were on an eco. And I cannot find a solution to this. The only reason, the only reason that I can, like, think that solves this problem is that Fnatic's call was motivated by the fact that Sentinels didn't force round two. So they wanted to even out the chances against a full by round, but it, it pays a huge price, huge risk, right? And essentially what is even more important, when we roll it back to the previous round, Pay attention also to the health on the members. Like, not a single... Uh, let us finish. Only Derka had to rebuy the armor, right? Everyone else is on small shields. So essentially, you didn't have to rebuy anything apart from utility. And the jet ultimate is also very interesting because once you pop it as soon as possible, if you pop the ultimate on round three, you're able to snowball the economy even more right because you're able to essentially get one orb faster because you used it on round three and not on round four and if you would have saved a gun for round four will you use it then well then it's two two rounds when the ultimate is not being used so you're not building up economy because you didn't drop a gun and you're out there with your, with your ult ready but you can't really use it right so it's such a peculiar situation 
and it put Fnatic in a huge economical disadvantage because as you can see in round four after the replays in round four we have Fnatic with Frenzy, two shorties, a Vandal from Chronicle that he saved if I'm not mistaken and a Stinger on Leo and that's only because they dropped those three guns and didn't use the jet ult on round two so it's like a very peculiar situation because you don't see often um you don't see often in pro level, at the pro level, decisions like that. And it still kind of boggles my mind that that decision was made by Fnatic in that uh, situation. I will probably ask both at some point we'll, when they are done with the tournament. I'm going to ask this, this question because I would really love to have a, a solution to this. And like, what is the motivation? Because I think it's an interesting uh, topic that is not really touched um, when it comes to like analysis. You know? So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this small mystery that we will solve at some point and probably make a second video if we will speak to Mini or uh, uh, Boaster from Fnatic and get this uh, solved. So if you have a solution yourself, make sure to leave a comment with the answer. See you next time.